not. I'm going to try shutting the door because James is mowing the lawn right now. Hmm, might just have to make do. So last week, I um, thought I would get out some air drying clay that I had. I made a Christmas gift last year for a family member and had a huge block of it left and I thought, I just, you know when you get the urge to do something, that happened. So I got it out. I wanted to make myself like a little trinket box with my fox on it. So I've made my little fox a 3D critter. And it's just like a little, I don't know, I could put earrings in there or something or rings, I don't know. But I just thought I'd try and make myself one. He's very, very cute. I'm happy with him. I'd like to try and make some more um, as potential gifts this year. I think it's a really sweet idea. But then I also just had an urge to start cutting shapes out with cookie cutters. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Cloud. How are you doing there? But I made um, a couple of bears. I'm going to send these to some friends. And then I thought I would try some stars. So what I'm going to do is paint my designs onto them and then varnish. Hello everyone, so um, today is, what day are we on? Tuesday. <laughs> I cut out some more bears today because I put on Instagram what you guys thought to these babies and the response was amazing and I can't, I can't, just didn't see it coming. I just thought, oh, I'll see what you guys think. I've done some stars as well because I thought that'd be really cute. Um, so, oh. I'm just waiting for this one to dry a tiny bit more and I'll tackle that one tomorrow but I've, oh this colour is a lovely peachy sort of colour so I'm going to do that one tomorrow and I've also got this mauve one, I love a bit of mauve but yes um, you guys loved the bears so I used up the rest of my clay today and I cut out bears and then with the last of the clay that I used up, I managed to get a couple more stars out. So I did a big one first and then with the very last bit of clay, I got another star. So I'm going to be painting these up, all different colours, lots and lots of bears with um, my foliage on and things. I'm very, very excited. And I've also got this box 
full of threads and things that I have been collecting over the years, like just off cuts of ribbons or ribbons from other projects. I absolutely love this one, so pretty. This was off a gift, I think, years ago, but I just, it's so soft. Um, so yeah, I'm going to order some more clay tonight actually because it's, a, it's been so much fun. Um, so I'm going to order some more clay tonight I think because I need to get some more bits from Hobbycraft anyway. Um, so I'm going to order it online and let you guys know what I managed to pick up. I wanted to show you guys um, this little care package that I've just received. So I'm going to be reusing all of this. Oh yes. <laughs> Listen, um, so me and some so some small businessy friends and I have been doing um, like going through all of our craft stuff that we're not using and asking each other like can you make use of this and we've been doing little swaps and things but Sophie has been a naughty bean and she has put in some extras. Sophie my love you're a naughty, naughty human being. Oh, got some model face masks, which is very nice. Um, but the cheeky monkey has also put in some of her pins, so let's open them. Cause, oh my goodness, look at this. I think, do you guys remember the puffin badge that I showed you guys last time from Sophie? But she makes them all herself in her studio with a, a badge press. This one... Um, I believe was from her patron club so I feel very lucky to have got one of these beautiful horsey folks oh that is adorable that is so cute oh how sweet and she's reading her little spell book that is adorable these are going straight onto my pin flags i'm so excited thank you so much sophie i will link sophie's shop down below if you want to go and check her out she's one of my small business besties and i love her to bits